When NASA first spotted 31 Atlas gliding silently through the solar system, astronomers didn't think much of it. After all, comets come and go all the time. Icy bodies that burn bright then vanish into the void. But this one was different. From the very beginning, 31 Atlas defied expectations. Instead of fading, it grew brighter, pulsing faintly as if it were alive. And when the James Webb Space Telescope turned its golden mirrors toward it, what it saw sent shockwaves through the entire scientific community. Because the Webb Telescope detected something that shouldn't exist on a comet. A steady source of thrust. Now, comets don't have engines. They don't propel themselves. They simply follow the gravitational pull of the sun, moving along predictable orbits. But data from Webb's instruments showed otherwise. A faint, consistent emission of gas and particles that didn't match any natural pattern. It wasn't random venting. It wasn't solar radiation pressure. It looked controlled. At first, scientists thought it was an error. They recalibrated the instruments, rechecked the heat signatures, and even questioned the spectrometer readings. But after weeks of verification, there was no denying it. 31 Atlas was generating directed propulsion. The discovery was so bizarre that NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory issued an internal memo labeled Restricted. It stated, Unexplained thrust signatures detected from 31 Atlas, possibly mechanical or electromagnetic in origin. Mechanical? On a comet? That was the moment everything changed. Webb's near-infrared spectrograph picked up a trace signature, a thin plume extending from the comet's tail. Unlike the chaotic spray of ice and dust most comets emit, this one was smooth and narrow, almost like the exhaust of an engine. And here's where things got even stranger. The thrust wasn't constant. It pulsed. Every 16 hours, the emission would flare up for exactly 12 minutes before going silent again. Those periodic bursts didn't match any known natural process. It was almost like a programmed cycle. When scientists plotted the pattern, they found something chilling. Each burst corresponded to a slight course correction, as if 31 Atlas was adjusting its trajectory, and not toward deep space but toward Earth's orbital plane. That's when the quiet excitement in NASA turned into alarm. Could it be artificial? Could 31 Atlas be a probe? The idea seemed impossible, yet the data spoke for itself. The comet's velocity changed subtly, not enough to alarm the public, but enough that orbital mechanics experts could no longer predict its future position with certainty. For decades, astronomers had theorized that ancient civilizations, or even extraterrestrial probes, might disguise themselves as comets or asteroids to observe young planetary systems. A perfect camouflage, icy, unremarkable, and easy to dismiss. Now, it seemed that theory had just gained its first piece of evidence. When Webb focused deeper, it revealed heat anomalies on the comet's surface localized patches that were too warm to be natural. Temperatures fluctuated as though something beneath the icy crust was activating and cooling down again. Some speculated that 31 Atlas was an alien visitor, like Oumuamua, the mysterious object that baffled scientists back in 2017. But this was no simple rock passing by. It was moving deliberately, as though under control. NASA officials quietly contacted ESA and the Japanese Space Agency to confirm the readings. Every telescope aimed at 31 Atlas found the same thing. Periodic bursts, heat signatures, and motion adjustments. Still, the public was told nothing. At least, not yet. Behind closed doors, a small team at NASA began referring to the comet by a new name. Project Atlas X. It was their attempt to understand what they were truly dealing with. Was it an alien artifact? An ancient automated probe? Or something entirely new? Perhaps even a remnant of a civilization that predated humanity? Then, two weeks later, 
the comet stopped. Yes, stopped. Its trajectory stabilized and the thrust bursts ceased completely. For the first time since its discovery, 31 Atlas became silent, cold, still. That's when the Webb telescope detected something faint, a low-frequency radio emission coming from within the comet itself. And when that signal was decoded, everything we thought we knew about our place in the universe changed. The signal from 31 ATL Atlas wasn't random. It had structure, patterns that repeated every 0.73 seconds, like a heartbeat. But it wasn't any known natural frequency. At first, the signal resembled background cosmic radiation. Then, when NASA engineers ran it through a Fourier analysis, something remarkable happened. The noise transformed into a sequence of binary pulses, ones and zeros, forming a digital signature. It was a message. The signal was too faint for Earth-based antennas to decode, so Webb's deep space array took over. For 72 continuous hours, the telescope locked on, gathering every fragment of data. When the first sequence was decoded, the translation appeared on the monitor. We are the first. The control room went silent. Could it really be? A message from an ancient interstellar civilization buried beneath the surface of a comet? Further decoding revealed more lines, fragmented but chillingly clear. We built the seeds. We left them to travel. When you are ready, you will hear us. The words appeared like a whisper from deep time. A message not just to humanity, but to whoever evolved enough to detect it. Scientists realized that 31 ATL Atlas wasn't just a comet, it was a seed probe, a type of self-propelling archive left behind by an unknown civilization millions of years ago. The thrust detected earlier wasn't propulsion for travel, it was maneuvering to ensure the comet remained stable and detectable once a species reached the technological threshold to find it. And we had finally reached that point. The message went on, piece by piece, like an ancient puzzle. The seeds are many, some lost, some silent. You found one. This implied there were others, comets or asteroids scattered across the cosmos, each carrying fragments of knowledge, perhaps even DNA, blueprints, or history from their creators. 31 ATL Atlas might be one of countless celestial messengers, a galactic archive drifting among the stars. NASA and the European Space Agency immediately classified the discovery. The public still thought 31 ATL Atlas was just another icy rock. But inside control room, scientists were staring at a cosmic time capsule. Then, on the fourth day of signal decoding, something unexpected occurred. The signal changed. It began transmitting a mathematical pattern, one far beyond human computation. Complex prime number sequences that described physical constants, planetary ratios, and even gravitational harmonics of the Milky Way. But buried within that data was something far more important. A set of coordinates. When plotted, those coordinates pointed not to a distant star, but to a location beyond Neptune, near the Kuiper Belt. The coordinates marked what NASA has now dubbed Region 9X, an area long suspected to hide a mysterious object, possibly the elusive planet 9. And according to the decoded message, another seed lies there, dormant. Could that mean there are more of these comet-like probes, each waiting for us to find them? 
If so, 